my dear students, today we will have an introductory lesson on Practical Research 2, Module 1 in Query and Research. Today we will talk about the definition of research and the steps of a scientific process. This will be a kind of review for all of you since you already have this in your Practical Research 1. So let's start! First, we have the definition of research. So what is research? Research is getting knowledge about the things you want to know and learning from all possible sources such as from a friend, an expert to media sources, using a scientific process for the discovery of truth or even invention and development of existing products. From this definition, we will see our keywords that research should be getting knowledge from all possible sources using a scientific process. So yung research pala, hindi siya basta-bastang pagbabasa lang, pagsusulat lang. It should be getting knowledge from the things you are, that you are interested with from all possible sources, meaning kukuha ka ng mga information from the people who are experts or from the people who have knowledge about your topic and this research should follow a scientific process. Bakit nga ba basta research sinasaba nila dapat mag-follow pa sa scientific method? This is because following the scientific process or the scientific method will make your research easier and efficient. Hindi ka magpapabalik-balik sa mga ginagawa mo. Meron kang process na sinusunod. Kasi pag di, mo, di ka nag-follow sa scientific process, there is a big possibility na babalik ka sa simula kasi meron kang mga process na skinip. So that is the importance of scientific method. So what are the steps in scientific method? Here we have the observation, identifying the problem, making hypothesis, experimentation or data gathering, data analysis, and making conclusion. So observation, meaning, in order to get knowledge, you need to observe what are the things that are existing in your community or what are the things that you can observe using your five senses. Next, if you are done with the observation in your community, you will identify what is the problem. Ano yung mga problem na nag exist after my observation? Bakit may ganito? Paano to isosolve? So next, we have the hypothesis. Hypothesis is making a prediction on what will happen if you do a certain thing. So it is like a guess or a prediction on what you should do and those hypotheses or these hypotheses will be used in the experimentation. Itetest mo, mag experiment ka kung tama ba yung prediction mo. Then after the experimentation, the data that you have will be analyzed. Then after your analysis, you will make a conclusion whether your hypothesis is correct or not correct. Here, I have a simple example. Suppose that after hours of using your phone, it went out of battery and now it won't charge. We have our first step which is the observation. Now, after this observation, you will question yourself, why won't my phone charge? Bakit ayaw mag-charge yung phone ko? So, because of that question, you will make your problem. Ah, baka ayaw mag-charge yung phone ko kasi sira yung outlet. So, because you know the problem, which is the outlet is maybe broken, you will have your hypothesis or the prediction. If I plug my phone into another outlet, then it will start charging. Yung problem natin is maybe the outlet is broken, that is why our phone is not charging. So, we will have our hypothesis na if I plug my phone into another outlet, maybe it will start charging. So, that is our Prediction. After our hypothesis, we will go to the test your hypothesis or experimentation. Now, experimented and plug your phone into a different outlet and try if it works. If your phone is charging, that means your hypothesis is supported, means it is correct. However, if your phone is not charging, that means your hypothesis is not supported. Here, in hypothesis is supported, our hypothesis is correct, meaning if the phone is plugged into another outlet, it will start charging. However, if your phone is not charging, that means that 
your hypothesis, if I plug my phone into another outlet, then it will start charging is not correct. It will either go here or here. It depends on your experimentation and your data analysis. That would be all for the short review on the definition of research and the steps in the scientific process. Thank you for listening everyone and God bless us all.